Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing OP Soviet Union on Elite Iron Man mode with historical AI. So let's get into it. Uh, this is going to be my fifth attempt to take over the Allies. It could be five, it could be six. I've lost count. And I've taken all of your ideas and kind of melded them into this strategy right here. Uh, I've deleted the paratroopers. I have put up uh, naval invasions on either side of the ports. So the plan's going to be to take the beaches all along southern England here. And then this is very risky because I almost guarantee you that I'm going to lose some of these beaches. And I'm going to wait till the allied forces attack me here in Normandy before I launch this invasion. Um, let's see here. My, looks like we still have some naval forces that need to be repaired. So I'm going to make sure we repair them. The destroyers I don't really care about. Just to show you, we're building mainly refineries. Uh, it's useless to build anything else because uh, I've ran out of iron, so it's hard to build more ships. It's hard to build anything, really. Looks like I have enough aluminum so we can balance some of this out. And then, as you can see, most of the iron's gone from the map. I have switched my production, my naval production, to be heavy uh, on the early cruisers because they're only one steel to produce. So at least this way I get screening ships out. And all the capital ships here are going to come out in 45-46. And hopefully by then we can get across the Atlantic and start invading the United States. So we're just going to wait until the Allies do their naval invasion in Normandy. And then I'll stop repairing those ships. We'll put them on amphibious orders. And we'll start Operation Sea Lion up. These guys are shuffling for some reason. wonder why that is. They've been attacking Brest quite a bit. And as you can see, I'm just cleaning up things in the Middle East here. No biggie. The other part of the plan is that I'm going to try to supply my troops uh, via the transport airplanes. To do that, it's going to take me 14 command power, so I'm conserving my command power. Uh, I just want to make double sure that I can't make another tank variant. So we've got the light tank 3. Yeah, that's, that's pretty maxed out. So unless I want to make more templates, there's nothing really to do with that. Let's put these guys back here. One of the real challenges that I've been having is microwing the air resources for sure. Let's get these uh, some of these guys in the, out of the English Channel and on to England proper. I want to make sure that I have air superiority when we head over there. So there are a few naval invasions happening, but I... There's a big one that typically happens in Normandy. I hope that they didn't give that up. But maybe this is a sign that they're trickling people in through to Africa over here. I'm not sure. I have two armies in place over here that are just kind of hanging out. So I might as well put them on some anti-resistance duties. Yeah, 
it's been really hard supplying uh, the Middle East here, and I need to make sure that I up the infrastructure in these areas. But if I run too many divisions down here, uh, I'm just going to be taking a lot of attrition, and that's not good. I'm just going to be losing manpower supplies for no good reason. God, it's so hard to get air superiority. Okay, so they're attacking right there. Maybe I time it with that. I definitely need these battleships to be fixed. There are some pretty heavy debuffs going on there. It's cool that it tells you what the debuffs were. One was a broken propeller, which was negative 90% to speed. So that was going to be pretty bad. So there's a naval invasion right there. Okay, now they're attacking down there. Let's wait till these uh, ships are all healed up here. We're just grinding down here. But we're breaking them slowly, so that's good. Let's see here, it's a Zhukov. Oh, I did not want to do that. Command power is going to go back up. Okay, most of the battleships are almost done here. And I think I need to get air superiority over England for the transport mission to be able to work. Let's see, there's too many by 14. Let's take this air wing. If you haven't joined me for my last episode, um, we are doing Fighter 2s, and I did make a variant of that. That's what this is looking like. And then we're actually, we have a designer. MIG Design Bureau. Fighter Agility 10%, Max Speed 10%. Uh, so that's really good. Wow, this is kind of a weird situation here. I think I'm going to hold up Zhukov. Let him get a battle plan set there. We almost have all of our ships back. And I did go for... The um, rocket artillery. Because I noticed with the rocket artillery, uh, the tungsten is more and the iron is less. And we do have tungsten in reserve here. So I wanted to tap into that. I thought that would be a good idea. We can also go for more production at this point. Production efficiency retention, production efficiency cap. Production efficiency growth. We're kind of trying to stick around and do the exact same uh, types of production lines. So I think I'm going to go with 
uh, instead of production efficiency growth, I think we're going to go with the cap. And let's just uh, cancel all the repair tasks because I want to get going here. I think what's happening is the allied bombers are bombing the uh, ships. Just as we're repairing them. So we're going to go on naval invasion support here. And yes, I have the subs in there too. God, I just need more guys over there. I just wonder if I need air superiority in the Bellano region. Let's take these more modern fighters out of France and get them up on the front lines. Let's see if that doesn't help at all. We are just grinding fighters away to nothing. It's almost like they can tell that all my transport planes are over here in Brussels or something, I don't know. Okay, so we're still grinding in the Middle East. Oh, I see what's going on. those guys away. I don't want them needlessly attacking. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so I think we got the Fighter 3 and the Cass 3. So let's get those into production. We're going to switch production lines um, one at a time here. Get the construction going. I think I need more resources rather than construction at this point. Okay, so we're going to leave these production lines going because I have all this production efficiency that I built up. I don't want to waste that. So we're going to make a Fighter 3 variant going for agility first, reliability second, weapons third. Um, and I think we're just going to go with that because I need to split it between the cast as well. Yak 3A. We don't need the Yak 3 anymore. And then... get this cast going here and we'll start doing the towed rocket artillery so it does require a vehicle I think I've actually never used rocket artillery but I can see why it's good for the Soviets because they have tungsten they don't have a lot of steel But it says towed, so I'm guessing I need trucks. That's my one Achilles heel right now that is being rectified there. And we're going to have to take away production from 
some of our current fighter and cast lines. Three aluminum, one rubber. Four aluminum, one rubber. Three aluminum, one rubber. Three aluminum, one rubber. All right, so that is quite costly in terms of aluminum. Kind of maxed out the amount of aluminum we can get here. I'm going to have to micro that later. All right, let's try this final attempt at Sea Lion. And I'm going to go ahead and let's hit go. Wish me luck here. This guy needs to be on there. See if we can pull this off. And we'll use our air supply key here. Let's max out our ground crews. Air supply capability, 2.16. So I'm assuming that's the amount of su air supply that they're delivering. That doesn't seem like it's a lot. Like one division of tanks is 1.23. We'll see if it makes a difference. And nothing is launched yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, so immediately we have an airport down there. So that's actually seems like it's a very important tile. Let's see who's the furthest away from the front and who we can maybe get in there a little better. These guys seem very far away from England. Let's have them switch to the channel, and then these guys are actually going to fly over here. Okay. Let's spread out and start seeing what we can do. I think we might have surprised them. They might have all gone down to North Africa. So that might have been the key. I'm not sure. If we get Dover, it's going to be really juicy. Let's clean some of these lines up. And then all the guys here that don't have orders. that up a little bit. Let's get them going forward here.
Okay, so there are guys in Portsmouth. I'm sure there's people in London. All right, we've got our beachhead. Now we need to exploit it. Let's try sending over the tanks real quick. Just real sneaky and quick. We just need to get Norwich. We need another port. See how the air supply is going here. I think we have way too many troops over there. I wonder if I actually put them in country if that helps. We'll try it out. I think the most important thing here is to get the CAS into southern England. That's going to help out my attack quite a bit, since we do have air superiority now. Let's drive up that soft attack. And these guys aren't really doing much over here. So they can move over. Let's get some of these modern fighters over there. Okay, Zukov looks like he's ready to start grinding again. Are we suffering attrition down here? A little bit. I gotta reorganize this whole thing here. So, six are on that attack. What we need to do is just have them, like, fan out. Something like that. Just push in a general direction right now as fast as you can. Capturing another port right now would be key. I think if I put too many people over here on Dover, uh, we're going to suffer a lot of attrition. Let's see if these guys can get through. Just like right here, making a contiguous front would be awesome. They can pound through right there. That's a lot of attrition, though. This attack looks like it's starting to waver. Uh-oh. They got cut off. So we really need to start pushing. So these guys are going to be gone, unfortunately. guys are all suffering attrition. Um, I would like these guys to get, these divisions to get off of England. We'll unassign them from their orders right now. And this never works, but I'm going to try to up all the ports down there. Because I'm never be able to really build enough ports in time for it to make a difference. Let's take these three worn out uh, Panzer divisions. And then we'll just try to move around with these four and see what we can do. They're doing pretty good. Okay, we got the second one. Okay. 
Never mind. Okay, so we now we have a second port. Uh, my tanks are not suffering from attrition right there. So these guys can actually just sit there. Let's delete that. Have everyone go over there. Except for you guys. And we should... Okay, we lost the air power over there. enough. Chance of random accidents, equipment reliability, air supply capability. 1.32. Hmm. I'll take it though. Construction going. I don't know. I think the cast might have been the key here. We'll see. And opening up the front down here in uh, through Turkey in the Middle East. Because they had to line up a lot of troops. At one point in between videos I saw that they had like 30 uh, some odd divisions in each port. Um, so I really think it's key. Oh. That just looks so bad. He lost eight divisions, but it's okay. It'll be okay. Let's have him drive towards Norwich, and then we'll turn on his siege artillery trait. See what he can do. I think we've got it at this point. I don't think it's going to be a stalemate down here. If we've got one, two ports. One, two, three, right? This is a port. This is not a port. Oh boy. They moved all their air over. know what airports they're using, but they must be good ones. Holy mackerel. They do not want to lose Mother England, I'll tell you that much. Take those guys down to 50. Just to have a presence over there. God, we're using biplanes over here in the Middle East, and we still don't have air superiority in the Middle East. We're just grinding away. Maybe leave some comments down below, but I think England has uh, capabilities of 
um, somehow boosting their fighter production. So that I think that they've definitely gone for that in this playthrough. There's something about their focus tree badge here um, that allows them to get increased uh, fighter production. I don't know if it's... Anyway, you guys can tell me in the uh, comment section below. It looks like we're suffering some attrition in our heavy equipment right there. But now I've gotten four ports. And we get Plymouth. That'll be five. Let's make sure that we're filling up all these air slots. God, this is so grindy. Okay, so this should be the only guy not going across. We got a thousand. And we almost have a thousand air slots right there. There we go. Everything needs to concentrate on Southern England right now. So I'm just making sure everything's over there. God, I need to up our air production. Got really low on aluminum here. Just trying to limit the amount of older vehicles that I'm building like this older interwar bomber is not really going to be too much help at this point and we're still having problems with aluminum Switch that around. Um, the ships... Oh, boy. We're losing all of our capital ships. The ships can go home, I think. So go ahead and put them on hold. I have them on engage at high risk. And we should repair now. Hopefully they haven't changed things to where that's going to affect my production, though. Oh, these guys might be breaking out. Okay, we got the signal company in. I can equip those on my tank divisions. might have to just sit here and wait for a second. Supply is going to be an issue. Still low on trucks. So let's make sure that all these guys stop moving for just a minute. And I want to make sure that we get surround a surround on Plymouth. Because it looks like those guys are struggling. Get some more divisions down there. Ooh. That's a bad one. 
That cannot happen. Let's have all these guys try to slam in here. Take that back. So that just screwed up all my air wings. I wish the air wings would be better about spreading out automatically. I could attach them to my armies, but I don't really trust it. This is kind of where bigger air wings help out, because you can do all this micro a lot faster. And we need to free these guys up so that they don't die. And they're still in Plymouth. That's not good. We can't get more rubber processing. That would help us out quite a bit. And then I can use some of this political power to expand our steel. That would be great. I'd really love to get this other port, though. if we can't get these guys in here. Yeah, it looks like we can, no problem. Okay, we're a little crowded over here. Just balance that out a little bit. See how we're doing down here in the Middle East. Zhukov is still looking a little shaky. You know what I can do is actually just make sure that they're on contain, that they're just sitting there. And uh, we can try to push for the rest of, Engl of uh, the UK here. Let's see if we can't get this last port and then I'm gonna end the video. There we go. So with the southern end of England captured here, I think that we have an excellent chance of taking the rest of the country. It's just going to be a little bit of a grind. Uh, I'm not sure that attacking down here would be optimal. Uh, it could keep their forces busy if I could get some surrounds and, and really punch through. Uh, but I really want to conserve manpower and my equipment. It looks like we're going to need a lot more trucks pretty much so I really need to get on that in between videos we have enough light tanks um, but thank you for all your comments that really helped out uh, obviously your strategy worked just basically flood all the southern part of England with divisions and then have them mutually support each other worked a hundred percent uh, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, and I'll see you on the next one.